When building regulations changed in late 2019, the requirement for a non-combustible cavity tray came into play. METS is a non-combustible cavity tray, A1 certified, and is used throughout the UK and is seen as the leading UK number one cavity tray. It consists of all metal alloy zinc and is a unique new building product and surpasses all other cavity trays currently on the market. The first requirement for fitting the METS cavity tray is a 5mm mortar bed. The next stage is putting the external and internal corners in positioning and make sure it is pressed well back onto the internal board. We're now in the position where we've basically wide brushed the underside of the end stop and the top side of the end stop. We then can position the end stop and also the corners by using the tape and if we position the tape exactly where the headlap of the, of the end stop is we know we've got the right position for the linear length of the cavity tray. Also please note that the sole of the cavity tray is 90 mil and we have a gap at the front of the end stop of 10 mil and it's the same on all the corners internal or external or any other corner that comes into line with the brickwork. The wonderful thing about METS, it's a very malleable, easy to work with product. Now at this point you can see where we've bonded the headlap of the end stop and all the internal and external corners with the tape. And we, what we can actually do is manoeuvre there. So if there's any deflection in the wall or anything else, it's still very adjustable. A very malleable, easy to work with product. The next process in fixing the METS cavity tray is to take the roll which is 440 or 600 millimetres width and 10 metres long. What we do, we basically open it up and then we measure the required length of the linear cavity tray. Now please note the maximum length of the cavity tray cannot be more than 2 metres. We basically then cut the cavity tray at the given length with tin snips. When you have the correct length for your cavity tray, please don't forget that you need a 100mm overlap on each end to put the self-adhesive tape onto. We all know in construction the importance of health and safety. Under HSE requirements, the only requirement for fitting METS is simply a pair of gloves. Well, we've cut our length of cavity tray to the correct distance, so what's the next process? Well, we need to form it into a cavity tray with a headlap and a sole. How do we do this? Well, we use a Myers handheld bending tool that can be configured to the correct dimensions. Well you can see how easy that was to bend. What we now have is a 90mm sole and a 100mm headlap of a perfectly formed cavity tray linear length. The METS adhesive tape is now in position on the end stop and the internal corner. We've now taken the separation layer off and it is now bonded to the headlap and the side laps and we simply take the separation layer and remove it.
cavity tray now is in position and ready for the next stage but you'll notice one thing it's still adjustable at this point so any deflection in the brickwork can easily be adjusted with METs. So what we've done here, we've sealed the head laps and the side laps with METS polymer sealant. Raptite 245 is now used to seal the head lap, which is 100 mil followed by a further 100 mil, which is a self-adhesive breather membrane. The head lap is now secured with stainless steel fixing screws with isolation washers available from Myers. Secured at each lap and at 600 millimeter centers. Metz cavity trays that concludes the fitting and fixing of this unique cavity tray. It's non-combustible, A1 rated and is very malleable. The plus points for the perfect tray, a UK leader. We also have a Myers Metz installation brochure that has been fully approved for fixing by NHBC. Please contact Myers construction products direct for your installation brochure. Thank you.